I was looking at some videos of you online, and you're a big burger fan. Have you had a chance yet to visit Josie Alds Burger Joint here in Rio? Nah, I haven't, uh, but, uh, but I've heard about it. Uh, maybe after the fight, maybe I can go, uh, you know, have, have, have a burger there, maybe with him, you know. I'm a pretty friendly bloke, so, you know, this is all business, you know, this is a sport to me, so if he wanted to have a burger with me, I'd be happy to go uh, try out his burgers. What's your go-to burger when you... When you're off camp, you have you 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 can eat everything. After a fight, yeah. probably a burger with a lot. I reckon that that'd be something. I don't know something uh, you're nice and juicy and fat. I reckon, but yeah. But uh, usually with my burgers, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't mind them pretty simple to be honest. But after a fight, I think I would want to go all out. I don't know if you ever seen any pictures of his burger joint, but it's it's a lot of that. It's a lot of. A lot of uh, uh, pictures of uh, athletes of all, all, all sports, not only MMA, and he's a big NFL fan. Do you think he would be a, a, a fan of yours in your rugby days? Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. Uh, probably not. No, I never made it to the highest level of rugby league, but but you know, it's, uh, it was something that I was pretty good at. But you know, I knew I wouldn't make it as far as I would with MMA. So I'm glad I made the change to to, rug, uh, to MMA. Talking about the actual fight, were you afraid that it would? got cancelled after you heard about his knee infection? Um, no, I, don't, I wasn't really. Like, you know, I don't mean this in a bad way, but, you know, staph infections, they're pretty common, you know, and that was seven weeks out when I got told about that, and I was like, oh, that shouldn't be a worry. Um, you know, usually maybe slow down that week, uh, but, you know what I mean? I knew he'll be fine. He still had plenty of time. I've, you know, this, this is a tough sport. We've all had really bad camps, and a staff seven weeks out isn't, isn't too much to worry about. So I wasn't worried that he wouldn't turn up. Do you hope or do you think he's 100% or maybe it's going to be a tougher fight for you but maybe if he's not, it's an easier win for you do, do, or, or do you want him to be 100% so you get to face the best out of possible? Of course I want him 100%. Uh, you know, I don't, think, I don't think he would come in if he wasn't, didn't think he was ready. So he knows I'm going to push a pace, he knows I'm going to put the pressure on. Uh, you know, he knows he needs to be fit, you know, because uh, yeah, he's explosive, yeah, he's dangerous but if I last he knows I'm going to be coming at him all them three rounds, so I'm sure he'll be thinking he's fit enough. Speaking about injuries, I heard a terrible story about your your, your friend Kyle Mont 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 Montgomery. Uh, how is he doing now? Is he uh, is he getting better? Um, there's improvements. Uh, yeah, his legs are probably you know he would never be able to use his legs, but I just seen a video just the other day of him uh, starting to move move his arms, so he's starting to get a little bit of control with the arms and that, uh, which is a, a, an improvement. But um, yeah, it's just a tragic thing, you know. Obviously, it's a crazy sport, very unpredictable, and things can happen. And uh, you know, that's that's it's very unfortunate. But uh, I'm doing what I can to, to help. How how did that happen? Uh, just wrestling, I think it was. Just uh, just I remember he was he was telling everyone that it was a position he's been in, you know, a thousand times. But it's just sometimes the weight goes the wrong way, and he just landed wrong, and, and that was it. Does that make you? Uh, we 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 think everything like you 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 do have a dangerous career in this sport and and every day something like this can happen. Of course, you know obviously the risk might be a little bit higher, but at the same time, like you could walk the street trip over and that can happen too. You know what I mean? And people always go, oh, you shouldn't do this because of that. But I mean, us crossing the road or us being in a car is more dangerous than anything. The amount of people that have bad injuries, deaths on the road, but yet we do that every day anyway. It's just. You know what I mean? I just, you know, obviously, if you we were going to not take risks at all, we wouldn't do nothing. We'd stay indoors and not do a, do a thing. But, you know, life goes on. Do you think that a win Saturday might mean as an inspiration for him to keep pushing, keep fighting this fight? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, the, the, even the support back home, for everyone back home, uh, just before I left, I'd done like a, a little bit of a, a fundraiser for him and stuff like that. But, yeah, so I'll be. Uh, Try and make sure I remember to give him a shout out and that as well. That's something that I, that I promised him. So I'll give him a shout out now. Kyle, is a shout out for you, just in case I forget uh, Saturday night. But um, yeah, he head up, mate. Keep doing what you're doing. Improving, legend. Speak about the fight. Aldo, last fight he fought here, the last the last time he fought here in Rio, he lost Max Holloway. But then he's coming off two big first round knockouts. Uh, which other do you do you expect to 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 see inside the cage? If the other that fought against Max Holloway, that people thought thought that it would be the last for him or the Aldo of the last couple of fights? Well, I, Aldo's still Aldo. He's still very dangerous fighter, very explosive. He always was. He was even dangerous with Max. But, you know, people are always going to, you know, if he loses, oh, he was had an off day. But, you know, styles make fights. Max puts the pressure on. Max had good full work and I think he found a few holes in, in Aldo's game. And, uh, you know, I, I believe uh, I've, I've found a couple as well. 
So it's just, you know, exactly, you know, it's styles make fight, it's still dangerous. You know, early in the fight, I've got to keep my hands up. You know, I've got to keep my hands up, elbows low, elbows nice and tidy. Get ready for them leg kicks, he's going to be explosive. But when I'm in front of you, putting that pace, it's going to be hard to pull the trigger. You're going to be worrying about what I'm doing and then that he's going to stuck onto my tempo. Against Chad Menes, you had to dig deep to get the win. Is that the type of fight that you expect against, I guess, how to find it? You, you, you had to dig deep against uh, Chad Menes. Is that the type of fight you expect to be against Aldo as well? Uh, free round war, I guess. Uh, yeah, I am expecting that. I, like I always say in every fight, I prepare for the worst. So I'm preparing for a war. You know, I want to. I'm no, I'm fit enough and mentally strong enough to get through it. So I'm always mentally and physically prepared. So, you know, you could go out there and it could end in five seconds. It could end in 13 seconds. But it's, you know, I'm prepared to go five rounds. Obviously, it's not. But I mean, I'm more. You know, I, I could go five rounds. No, no dramas. That's it. That's why I'm always prepared for the worst. Many people in Brazil see you as a perfect matchup for Aldo, why are, are they wrong? Uh, perfect. Oh, yeah. Look, a lot of people see, you know, obviously he's fought a lot of wrestlers with big punches, but, you know, that's, I wouldn't say that's more, more casuals, but, I mean, you know, a lot of people, it, it goes a lot deeper than that. Uh, a lot of people look at it and they'll be like, oh, yeah, short, stocky wrestler with big punches. That's, that's what they think. Oh, Aldo made a career off that. I get why they're saying it, but, I mean, if you dig deep, I, I throw a lot of different little things um, and, and my pace, my pressure, you know, the way I chain things together is much different and much more tiring. So, you know, that's something that, yeah, he might feel like he, he's comfortable for the first 30 seconds, but it's going to change real quick. Every time Aldo lost in his career was by stoppage. Is that, a, is that how you envision yourself beating him, sir? I want to I get a finish. You know, you know, as they say, never leave it in the judge's hands. But at the same time, you know, uh, again, you know, I'm going to do whatever I have to do to win. So them later rounds, I, I expect to, you know, usually I say early rounds if I'm going to get a finish, but, you know, I think I need to be a little careful early, but I'm feeling uh, maybe a finish later rounds. Max Hollow is probably coming back to Federway now after, now that he lost to Dustin Poirier as, as lightweight. Do you think that a win started 100% getting to use you as an extra line for the, for the belt? I think, yeah. Like, uh, what do you reckon? You know, I'm fighting number one, ranked number one. I'm undefeated. You know, I'm you know, 16, 17 fights on the, on the winning streak. You know what I mean? I just think it's a it's a no-brainer. You know, um, you know, three uh, can you know three uh, ranked fighters in the last year, and I'm about to take out number about number one. I just think it's a yeah no-brainer. I just think it, I think that's fair. You know what I mean? Everyone else is coming off losses not that long ago, or or you know what I mean, something like that. So it's just I just think yeah, definitely. You're focused on Aldo now, but how do you see this matchup against uh, this this possible matchup against Holloway? That's another good matchup, you know what I mean? I've always thought I was a bad matchup for him. A lot of people would have disagreed, but maybe after the Poirier fight, people maybe see, oh, well, yeah, he's not invincible. I always knew he wasn't invincible, but obviously a lot of people see him winning and, you know, that's all they remember. But, uh, you know, I can keep a pace, you know, I am not going to break and, and he knows I won't break. So it's going to be a hell of a fight. But Saturday night I've got to do my thing and then I can get that by the end of the year.